Christian Donlin, I look at uh, Grow Home, and I think this this right here, this looks like an indie game. This is <laughs> this is exactly how people picture the word indie, and yet it's not quite, is it? It's, it's not. It's made by it's made by Ubisoft Reflections. What? I know. It's very unusual. So Ubisoft Reflections, if I'm correct, they are the driver. Yeah, right? that's right. Uh, really lovely team, and I think driver. The Last Driver was one of those games which in its own way felt like an indie. It had the indie mentality. It certainly didn't look like one. It was mm-hmm. a really open world, babish thing. But it had that indie mentality of a very strange central mechanic. Sure. And um, uh, yeah, they, they, they've kind of done Grow Home. I, I keep seeing the word experimental uh, yes. pop up in relation to this. And it's really, I feel Ubisoft, for all of the way, all of the things I, that annoy me about their games, all the way their big games are slowly all converging into one mega game. I like that you're about to jump off a mountain here. Yes, I am. So, um, they can still turn out these real oddities, which you feel have been made just for a very small yeah. audience. Like, I feel this game is made for me in my... Uh, the same way that I felt it's nothing like From Dust, but mm. I get that From Dust feeling of something which has been made by someone who wanted to make something pretty... Um, or found they were making something pre- pretty specific, yeah. and Ubisoft were, were very happy to go along with it. Yeah, it's really cool. I, I've kind of felt a little bit... Um, I've, I've fallen out of love with, with Ubisoft over the last year a little bit just because I feel like the, the way they present their games has come a little bit tired for me. But this this seems this seems new and interesting. Yeah, and it was announced. It, it was so good on so many levels. It was announced two weeks before it was released yeah. as well. Um, and it is also, it helps that I absolutely, like, we haven't really, our, our review isn't up yet. In fact, I haven't written it yet, but I absolutely adore it. Cool. So uh, what is Grow Home about other than a robot with some... Rather unusual animations. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, just want to put a spoiler in that um, th- I'm actually playing, I've finished the game by this point. Okay. So it's not really a narrative experience. It's not mm-hmm. like a sudden twist and it turns out that everyone, but you, you know, you're everyone's related. You're going to see some of the areas. You're going to see that, you're going to see the entire map unlocked. And in <laughs> fact, at the end, we're going to do a jump from the very top of the world right down to the bottom. And we're going to do it twice. I would I be miss, surpri- really. <laughs> I mess it up first time. I would be very surprised if people were flicking away um, because of that. But we'll, we'll see. It's not like a story. It's, it's not a story-driven thing. Um, so, so what is the the purpose of Grow Home? What, so what, do you, what are you up to? Grow Home. You are a little robot guy who is uh, dropped onto this planet to feed this kind of beanstalk. You have to feed the beanstalk all the way up from the ground right up to your ship again, up in the, nice. up in the firmament, and then you can take these. Um, uh, t- you t- you're basically as a MacGuffin, which is this seed which the plant grows, which you, you're putting back on your, your ship. But as, as you see, you wander around. I don't know if you've played Quop. Have you played Quop yes. and, yeah, and yeah. Surgeon Simulator? <laughs> games which made sort of a lot of fun out of intentionally very difficult control. Sure. So in Quop, you have to kind of control muscle, muscle tension as you're climbing this... I can't remember if that's Quop or what the other one he did. But, you know, like they're the games which problematise moving around. Yeah, definitely. This game does sort of the same thing in that you're this robot. You walk around with the thumbstick as normal, but when you climb, you have one uh, bumper or trigger controls each hand, and you uh, grab like and hold. It's like suckers, aren't they? Yeah, sure. But in fact, whereas those other games are all and surgeon simulators all about, like, wouldn't it be difficult if you mm-hmm. had to control each of your five fingers in a game? This one, it's actually really empowering. As soon as you get the hold of it, it, it as soon as you get... As soon as you get a hold of it, as soon as you <laughs> nice. get the hang of it, it becomes something which really puts you in a very tactile way into the world. Yeah, we, weirdly enough, it, it's kind of reminding me of Mount Your Friends in the way. Yeah, it, it's you, got, you a bit, yeah. Lot, sure. got a little bit of that, but I think it's the world which feels very um, Mario esque in that it feels like they made a load of um, a load of geometry and then they decided what to do with it. So as you see, you can see the the, the green vine which is going up to the level. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, that is just a sprout on the little ground on, on the ground. And then you can ride these um, appendages. You can kind of ride them and control where you want them to go and to grow the, gr- grow the vine further. And in the actual game, you are connecting them to... Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> you're connecting them to lumps of glowing rock, which then boost the vine up further. But by, So by the end of the game, you've actually made as much of the environment as the developers did. That's really, really cool. Yeah, all of it's these, like riding a giant snake. It is. And all of these things, all of the, all of the vine's twists and turns are almost certainly my own bad decision so like each time you play through the game it will be a bit different because you'll oh, connect no. um so the other thing is you can you, you it's a game about falling any game about climbing is in every game about yeah. falling but you have two different types of plant leaf um this one allows you to glide 
uh, and then there's another one which is a sunflower which yeah. allows you to float gently down and I brilliantly the petals come off to I tell you say, I think that's a really interesting mechanic it's a really it's a really nice way of putting a visual yeah. timer in mm-hmm. without saying without having a bar yeah. at the bottom that's like because you get down to one well. petal and you're like oh this is bad news um, as you see this is the odd thing about this game Ubisoft games, I always complain, they're all about climbing stuff and collecting stuff. Mm-hmm. And this game is about climbing stuff and collecting stuff, like you're collecting these little crystals which sure. help power up things. But there's a freshness to it because it is just, it jumps into this one environment and it just actually, the real point of the game is to just have fun. And inevitably you end up climbing higher, but, but that's just because that's what becomes fun. There's no, they don't, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> you overshoot, like so many times I've overshot, um, the perch I was going for. But like it seems, even though it's built of the things which, which are other parts of other Ubisoft games, so for example, even the, the Creepers, they remind me of the, the way there was a crazy psychedelic um, uh, sports game. What was, he, what was the name of the guy, the, the ginger-haired guy who... Am I allowed to say ginger-haired? I meant red head. Well, my my <laughs> daughter's a little bit ginger, so I'm allowed to say... <laughs> I think you're okay. Um, uh, what was the name of the, the snowboarding guy? S- oh, uh... I want to say Alex Kidd, but that's clearly not him. No. Nope. But you know the guy I'm talking about. They did, a, they did a skateboarding game with him where you could kind of create rails that twisted through the air as you went. It was completely surreal. And, and, and the, the vines in here feel a little like an Imagine extension that. of that principle. So I feel that Ubisoft never wastes anything, but equally <laughs> they're pretty open about how they put it together. Your animation is so yeah, it's, beautiful. <laughs> it's and it's all amazing sort of, and really weird. <laughs> it's all phys- the other thing about this game is it's so physics driven. Mm-hmm. That stops it from lapsing into tasks because everything you do feels, it just gr- gr- it, it grounds you in the world in a really physical way, which, which when, when it's like go collect eight of these or go collect six of these or sure. go whatever, it just makes each one of them is its own set piece because there's a physical reality to it. There was a moment last de- last night, which I wish I caught on on film, where um, I had a I had a pod I was going for on the very upper level of the of the world, the upper tier, and I kept dropping it and it kept rolling off and I kept catching it, almost missing it and then falling <laughs> off myself. And I fell down the entire world holding this pod, and at the end I just grabbed it before it fell into the ocean. That's amazing. And it was like, it was such an extraordinary moment. This game is full of moments where you think, I wish I was recording Sure, that. yeah. There's, just from watching you play at the moment, the, it does seem like there's an awful lot of freedom. Like, I think what you're doing now is has been completely decided by the fact that you missed that ledge earlier on. Yeah. It's, and you just kind of rolled with it instead that of That is totally right. That I, wish, I wish I had said that. That's totally right. It is a game where every, and it, again, this feels like Mario, where every distraction <laughs> gives you something else. I've just missed another yeah, that, ledge. Yeah, a great example. Yeah. Of what every <laughs> distraction gives you something else to do. And there is fall damage in this game. You can Oh, right, okay. a certain distance and you will explode but if you grab if you grab on at the last minute you will survive and it, you just feel you feel spectacular yeah, when you, you can do manage it. it and obviously as the, as, the le- as the vines grow you get these leaves which work as bounce pads nice um, I'm going to do it right now I think well there we go and this bit here is spectacular when you're crawling up and you're crawling through a waterfall and you have a little you can unlock a little uh, rocket booster to help oh, get man. you out of trouble that, that, that was yeah this, this is uh this is fun just to watch. What I watch you try and uh, make your way through this environment. And but everything is a distraction. So up here you'll find caves, you'll find hidden caves and things like that. And there's always something neat to do. And what I really particularly like about it, look at that. I appreciate this as well. You've you've, you've done this in mind uh, for video. <laughs> have a nice yes. little pan of the environment. <laughs> yeah. It's very much like a, all of the screenshots I took for this game. I took far more screenshots than I'll ever need. And it does feel a bit like tourism, like. <laughs> but what I particularly like about this game, and this is probably because I'm. Uh, a newish parent is that it really feels that this robot is like a child in a garden and when you're a kid hanging around in a garden is always an adventure oh yeah and um, there's this wonderful sense like your 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 master computer back in the spaceship is called mum yeah, which saw, does not that. not it does not seem to be done by mistake there's this wonderful sense of childhood uh, innocence to this game and even though there are threats the threats are not really meaningful it's just it is the, it's that sense of scrabbling around, playing, and it, 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 it is a game which makes it brings out the parent in you. Mm. I think, even though you're playing as the child, you what, kind of. What's the the character called? Uh, he's called Bud, and that Bud. stands for something biological. But bo- yeah, botanical. Basically, yeah. you're little. It's like ET. Your little space. It actually garden, reminds that. me a lot of Wally. Uh, just oh yes, in, no, there's in definitely a way that. that like it, Wally has very human and very childlike um, yes, yes. traits definitely it's got it's, there's a there's a lot i think that's a clear <laughs> influence and there's what i also like is when he moves and when he wanders around you get these kind of 56k dial-up modem 
I Raph remember is your that. I remember do that. Do you? Okay. Yes. Okay. But anyway, um, I was about to say you. I thought you were about to do a massive burn. Like, well, I don't know what. Don't yeah, know what one I, of those I couldn't is, do that. Um, so look, that thing I've done there. These are transporters which take you between. Um, they're basically you unlock a fast travel between certain points. But mm -hmm. brilliantly, you don't really ever feel the need to. Yeah, I, I, I totally get it. It's like uh, a game with a little bit of fast travel, but that almost <laughs> ruins it's all, the fun, It's just it? yeah. one map as well. That's the thing. It's one map. The draw distance is spectacular. So there's a little bit of crackdown. I know I'm name-checking all my favorite things in the world, but there's a little <laughs> bit of crackdown in there. That sense that they don't ever want to break... They, 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 they realize the moment you put a loading screen in, it breaks it completely. Sure. And just look Whoa. at it. So oh, this is a jump. Man. This is my first jump. Uh, okay. Spoiler, this one does not go well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so but getting to the spaceship means that, that you'd Yeah, you'd that, that is like the that is the actual the core sure. objective. You get, you get to the spaceship and then you get a seat. Oh, that looks amazing. And, and knowing that those vines are things that you've kind of... Yeah, and actually the game starts, the first bit of the game, it starts by showing your little guy parachuting into this world. And you can't control it. And there are obviously this fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you're just falling through space. And it feels like, oh, you go, oh, your heart sinks a little bit, like, because you should, you feel like, oh, I should be able to control this bit, and I can't. What, what rubbish. Yeah, have you played the introduction to Dying Light yet? Uh, no, I never, I, well. I never will. Oh, okay. um, yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the message from mum yeah, as well. So when you die, that's, that, that is a, a parent thing right there, is when your kid, like, wipes out massively. Yeah. You, you go, like, you've done a good, you know, good, I'm still proud good of job. You. I, I love you. Um, Yes. Oh, and it's, and I think so. This time it works, but not only this time it works spectacularly. Oh wow! Well. If I say so myself. <laughs> so like you look, you go past and you look at this and you think all of this stuff which we're flying past is in some way my decision or my mistake or yeah. I really feel like I own this environment. Yeah, the twists and turns are, are things that you've you're responsible for. That's I think there's such a lot of stuff people could learn from this game in that. That's Alec. That's uh, Paper Shotguns, Alec Mia. Um, <laughs> I think there's such a lot of stuff people can learn from this game in that. Uh, it is another reminder that things that Nintendo have always been very good at is if you build the geometry and a good way of getting aware, uh, around, mm -hmm. the fun will turn up. Sure. But also just like the... People people make their own fun and you give them enough systems to allow them to, to, to do that. And, uh, and just like a contiguous, give the world a kind of physical reality, and you're you're off to the races. Particularly in like an open world thing like this as well. Oh, nice! Yes, nice that's the bit well. which is cool. Not and only right that, by a but right by a crystal. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Yeah, that, very well like, played. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Also, it's got that crackdown thing where you can see the crystals. The way you could see the orbs really well a mm -hmm. mile off. You can see the crystals a mile off. So many collectible games get that wrong. Okay. I think we're about to run out of tape. But anyway, it's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you for showing us. How's that? That was brilliant. That was really fun. Excellent. Is that all right? Yeah, no. I